really good yes. to have you. Mm -hmm. You're very welcome. First time in Ireland, first day in Ireland. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to get out. We're going to keep them. So, I'm just going to start with a very short meditation. Okay, so we're just going to do a couple of minutes. I'm going to invite you all to just drop the energy down. Just feel yourself in your feet. And just feel the energy moving from your head down into your heart center. So just taking yourself from that energy of thinking to feeling. So just feel with your body, just feel your energy field around you. And just feel yourself getting really centered in your heart and also in your in your solar plexus. Just feel yourself getting nice and grounded. And just really allow the thinking mind to fade into the background. And just take a couple of breaths now into your heart center. <laughs> and now I'm just going to invite you to smile into your heart center. And just, as the talk goes on, to just feel yourself in this kind of receptive, open space. Just let go of judgment, just let go of the mind, and just kind of sit in this space for the evening. And just let that bring a smile to your face as you open your eyes. You're welcome. You're very welcome. A bit of heart energy, it's a good way to start. So, um, so we're going to make this a little bit interactive and um, to, to have um, Mantak Chia here, we want to make it interactive, we want to get into some of the practices. And we're just going to go straight through, we're not going to take a break, so we're going to go all the way through till about 9 or 9.15. So, so where I'd like to start Mantak is with the Chi, the Force. I'm a bit of a Star Wars fan, and I saw your recent movie, and you spoke about, may the force be with you, may the chi be with you. So I think it would be nice if we started off with a little warm-up, and we're just a little chi exercise, so people can get a sense of that energy flowing through their body. Yes. Are you happy to do that with us? Yes. Mm -hmm. Great. So um, the first thing we want to do, uh, this is the famous uh, Tao uh, picture. It's all talk of this is about nearly 2,500 years ago when they carved on the wall. And now, uh, so it very emphasize the flow of the fluid. When the energy flow, everything will flow. So we got chi flow, uh, blood will flow. Okay. So the whole theory is that when chi, when you get energy flow, the blood follow and the blood will carry oxygen, nutrition. And uh, we all know that uh, um, the white blood cell, the stem cell repairment. So we call army soldier repairment engineer. So that is how you get <clears throat> yourself into a healing. Okay. And the whole town talk about we have so much soldier. Okay. I mean, we have the most soldier than any soldier in the world combined together. We have by many hundred billion of army, tiny little army. And the Western doctor they know they cannot do anything. If if they stabilize you, all they have to do is let your own uh, cell protect and start healing. So you heal yourself. And the whole key is that how you activate them and how they keep them so all the so in the Tao practice we said energy chi 
is the most important part for the army. Now, army, if they eat, they eat more than <laughs> normal people because they have to make war, they have to be, do a lot of incredible things. So that's why they need more energy than, than uh, normal, so, uh, normal uh, cells. That's why the energy is so important. So what we're going to do here, so the first step we said, we're going to activate the 12 and 7 pumps. Okay? And that is very important. So if we, so we have to know that the spinal cord fluid, they are different from um, the blood fluid, okay? And oftentimes, we, are, uh, we sit on a pump. So we know the sacrum pump and the cranial pump. And between the sacrum and cranial, there are, there are another five major pumps. So all these pumps, if we don't activate them, uh, the energy don't flow. Because the spinal fluid feeds the brain and feeds all the nervous system that carry in pulses energy chi towards the organ or every part of the body. So that's why when this spinal cord do activate them. So in this part, you can see that <clears throat> the brain side activate from the base all the way flow up to the crown. Okay, so we're gonna stand up and do this. Um, so um, actually, it's very simple. Oh, you cannot see me. Huh? Space. <laughs> uh, now they have to see me. Let me see. I stand up here. Is that okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the first step um, is the circum. So you have to learn how to cut. So you, you tuck the second, you sit down and you tilt the second to the front, okay? So a lot of time, we don't aware of our second. And the second is a second pump, now the West know that. The pump that are actually uh, pumping the fluid, because the fluid when coming down, it has to go up, okay? So, so first thing, we, you sit down a little bit and you tap the second and you round your back a little bit. So you see? So it's just like you moving, we call the tailbone. Like that. So we call it a lot of the boat. You have you move front, back, front, back, that's the key. Okay? So we call it we activate we activate the pump. Activate the second pump. Okay. So um so now, when we activate them, they will give you, uh, if we, the most, most important part that we have is we sit on a pump. That's all. Every time we sit on, we sit right on the second. So that's why it is, we stuck, the energy stuck there, okay? So you see, first thing, let, I hope everybody know your second, second, yes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's one piece of bone, so so that is a, uh, and that's where all the we call the horse tail. The sacrum is all the nervous system ending. Okay, so we sit too much, and when you sit on, it don't move, and that is all the problem. Maybe you need to you can step out a little bit, uh, yeah. And you can zigzag a little bit, so you have more space. So the whole movement is like this. So the key, you have to move the second first. Okay, you move the second, and you tap back. Okay, so your lumbar, you see, you set your lumbar to the back, and you sink your chest. And after that, when you stand up, you inhale expansion. Exhale, second tuck first, stomach fatten down, and the rib cage down. Okay, let's see. Everybody feel your head. Rib cage down. Okay, and you're up. You're breathing, but your but your back have to be curved back and forth. Okay, so you you see your back have to curve. So you curve. Okay. So we do like this, inhale, okay. and 
after that, you exhale. So you flatten down the important part. You flatten down your stomach and flatten down your ribcage. And you inhale, you expand. Exhale. Now inhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now, when we rest, you wrap the hand warm. Now the so the first lesson that we in a doubt is back to your body wisdom. You have to focus on your body. So in here is the brain and the spinal cord, okay? So if you can, if, when you throw your eyes, one hand on the sacrum, one hand on the, on the back of the skull here, the cranium, okay? So you close your eyes and you're just aware, okay? So the whole key very simple, energy. First thing, when you feel your hand warm, that's all. And you feel sacrum warm, cranial warm, and that is beginning when it warm, that is the energy. Now and when you feel energy started to, you feel energy because the cranial fluid are flow up and down. So when you focus, smile, and feel something are floating from your spinal cord up and down. Okay, okay up and down. Because we have seven pumps there. So all these pumps, they have to pump the fluid up and down. And that is, um, now they have a lot of research when we, our spinal fluid are floating uh, slower and slower and slower. It's the beginning of Alzheimer's disease. It takes years to develop. Because we sit too long, we have more chair than human in the world. Everywhere you have a chair to sit, you know, <laughs> it will sit too long. <laughs> okay. And, uh, yeah. Now, when you feel warm, nice, and warm actually increasing, that is the energy that it's creating. Okay? And when you feel that, now you start to enhance it. You can guide the energy feeling, and you feel energy flow up and down. That's the beginning of the energy. Okay. Now when you put your hand down, and you still feel energy. So now let's do a little bit more. So first thing, let's tap the circum. So this is the circum pump, okay? And this is the cranial pump, okay? So uh, this cranial. And this is very important. Hit them every day. <laughs> Make you smart. <laughs> yeah, hit them every day. Because this one is the small brain. You have the small brain here. And that is the, um, we call the bacterial brain, the brain of very, very old brain. Yeah. And now, and after that you have this, if you touch the hand on the navel, and opposite the navel, we call door of life. Okay? And this, this point, if you bend back and forth like this, and that is the lumbar two and lumbar three. So the dark corridor of life, and now the West discovered that if people activate this area, now the, the West discovered, you activate this lumbar two and three, you stimulate this production of more stem cells. In the dark we call, we call the, um, between the two kidneys, so the kidney point. And now the West uh, say, yes, kidney control the bone marrow. And the bone marrow producing stem cell, and this is the point of the kidney point. Yeah. So when you bend back, a front curve and round front. This is the weak point that people have big trouble. Okay, we sit, you compress, and you compress to our right? way. We call it the door of life close. Okay, so okay. Now the next one. 
the solar plexus here. Okay, so you touch this point opposite here. We call the adrenal ring gland point, adrenal. Okay, so when you when you bend like this and back emphasize on this point, you activate the adrenal. People now are they now we have the new we have all kind of new disease every all the time now. So now we know that adrenal adrenaline gland fatigue syndrome. People drain out their adrenal. We fool them every day, every day, every day. And one day ad, adrenal give up. They don't want to do anything anymore. Okay. So this is if you activate them, you strengthening the adrenal. Okay. And you come up to the heart center. For men, easy if you touch the nipple, middle here. Okay, women cannot use this part. Everybody different. <laughs> so, so, um, so you you find the tip of the sternum up here, up here. So if you very important part, this alone give you more energy, more chi, because lung producing energy. So very very simple. You exhale, but you are curb. You sing your ribcage. So usually we use the lung sound. We say, <laughs> now you inhale, you expand your ribcage. So ribcage you have to move every day because this gives you energy. Exhale. Inhale. And feel your we can expand now, exhale, curve as much as you can your ribcage in. Inhale, expand. Okay. Exhale. Okay. Now, if you tie it, just do this. Pre time. Because when you sit and the lung nearly don't move enough, now you get tired. Too much CO2 accumulate in your bloodstream and you're very tired and after that we have to have coffee smoking <laughs> to stimulate them <coughs> okay the next one we call the neck okay so your chin put when you go like this <coughs> when you go like this so you tighten your neck okay tighten your neck and release tighten your neck and release you activate this, okay. so that's why we call seven pump. Okay. So you, you have this seven pump, if you activate them often, now and you, the whole key is you have to focus. And picture, the whole thing is in the God practice is back to your body wisdom. Okay, you know, like, like Jesus said, our body is a temple of God, yeah? People never spend time in taking care of their body. <laughs> we spend time in doing all other things, but not your own body. Okay. So if you cannot back to your body and understand how your body works, you cannot heal yourself. And you just have to depend on other things. Yeah. Okay. So let's do it. Let's do nine times. One more. And we we'll take Okay. Inhale. So think about the pump. Okay. Exhale. Inhale. Curve a little bit. Bend back. Okay. Exhale. Inhale. Three. Four. Inhale. This bulk of fluid flow is very important. Okay, very important. You feed the brain. You feed the nervous system in the whole body. It's very important. 
the chi we know, like the chi is the energy. Like when you think, they have to have electricity, the energy, chi. From the brain, go to where where you think. That is the key. That's how, if you understand that this is the major, major thing that in our body, you're going to understand the back to the body wisdom. Let's sit down. Yes. Closing. So who feels the chi? Feel the vibes? Okay. The force is now with all of us. I love that you have the sign on the wall, may the chi. So I'm, I'm just going to have a little bit of, um, uh, I, I watched a movie recently, there's a movie about Mantak's life, how it all began, and uh, it was really fascinating to watch because I didn't know a lot of that information. So Mantak, I just want to take you back to your um, younger years and talk a little bit about your master. Um, there's, you, you spoke in the movie about some, that he, he trained in the Himalayas. Um, kind of in caves, if I remember correctly. No, oh, <clears throat> that means in China, is, uh, share half and half Himalaya with oh. the uh, India. Okay. okay. Yeah. But in China side, the Himalaya is very stiff. No way, nobody can climb. But along there, there are many Taumasa go there. So they call the uh, the Heavenly Mountain, Tian Shan. <laughs> So, um, because um, that's where he, he practiced. That's where your teacher, yeah. your master practiced, yeah. And what type of skills did he learn? What did he, how long did he spend there? He spent years there? Yeah, he actually spent um, about 30 years uh, traveling around in China, learning with many, many town masters. So China at that time, they have many temples, okay? So, um, I, the biggest, um, I mean the, the Taoism itself, the big branches that recognized by, is about 12 big branches. So it's uh, because there's so many people involved in practice. So um, they said more than 10% of the population in China actually doing the Tao. And uh, that any period they have 100 million people all the time. You know? okay. So they are a lot into the practicing in the Tao. So uh, many temples and everybody have their own way of doing things. So he been uh, travel and study for a while. But he don't find the thing that he want to do before, the alchemy part. So he, after that, uh, some time master said, if you want, you have to go to the mountain to find the master. And he started to travel. And when he beginning, he, he traveled with all the backpack and I mean, everything on the back, you know, food and everything. <laughs> and by the time he go deep into the mountain, he run out of food. So he had to come out. So he go back and forth like this, he never find any master. And one day he met one uh, people there in the mountain, he said, hey, ask him where the Tao master is, he said, you have no way to find. The way you do like this, no way to find. So he teach him that you have to learn how to eat the root. No more food, nothing to carry. So where we are, dig, find the food, eat, drink the, the dew, dew from the leaf, that's it and not carry anything. And that's the time you can go in very deep. Yeah. So uh, I find my, the grandmaster, okay. He's sitting there. And so uh, and he is, because those people sometimes they get out, they're out of the body, and they leave the body. Yeah. So that's why the Tao master, they always have to find a, they call perfect cave. And actually, the perfect cave means the 
So in the this side in Malaya, outside very cold. But if you go down to the cave and you walk down, walk down, it's warm. It's cool enough that uh, it's like actually what we say now is a freezer, it's a refrigerator that you can put a meat there and it's not declared. That is called the we call the uh, the cap for the practice, you know. So sometimes not easy to find. <laughs> yeah. So you find a master, yeah. And he trained there and what, what age were you when you when you encountered him? What age were you? That time I I studied in Hong Kong and um uh he took a in in Chinese they especially the Tao they have a, a they always want to make sure that they pass to the right person. And um, so um, they're always talking about if you pass the teaching to the wrong person, the heaven will punish you. Okay. So everybody afraid, you know. <laughs> and you have to sign all also. But if you don't pass to we do not teach any person. Heaven going to also punish you. So you get punished either way. <laughs> so so all they figured out is they watch the student three years, uh, six years, mostly nine years. They watch them. They teach them little simple things and they watch them. Because and when you get older and older it's oh now you cannot do anything wrong. <laughs> so they teach. So usually they watch very long, make sure that they don't do anything, use the technique in the wrong way. Yeah. So he passed it, he kind of passed it to you and then? Uh, that time, you know, when I in Hong Kong uh, study, mm -hmm. and um, so um, my, he only get one senior classmate. He, he had the heart, <coughs> The valve is leaking, but in that time, operation is very difficult. Okay, and um, one day he walk on the street and he fainted. He got a heart problem, and he said him and teach him, and he can live on, not fainted anymore. But he later on, my master told told me that he cannot do the higher practice. So one day we are, we are sitting together with a group of people that come from Thailand eating and we talk about energy. Say, mm, nobody believe it, you know, ah, that is only Kung Fu novel, no, no real thing like that, okay. And uh, so, so my senior customer walk over and say, oh, you want to feel energy? I can take you to my master and you can feel the energy. So uh, we make appointments at 10, tomorrow 10 o'clock, everybody come. So we have seven people, seven people there. And tomorrow, I'm, the, I'm there for very early, nine o'clock, wait until 10, nobody come. And uh, my senior classmate, they waiting, they said, what happened? I said, I don't know. So we wait, wait for an hour, half an hour, nobody come. So, um, so he took me there. So, um, and my master said, oh, what happened to your friends? I said, I don't know, nobody. <laughs> so he said, oh, this is nice, I only left you. <laughs> so he, he said, you want to feel energy? He said, yes. I said, okay, you focus in the navel, okay, and you go home and you keep on focus on it and see if you, if you can. So the way I learned from him is that um, he teach me a formula, you go home and practice it. And you come back and report it. What you feel, how, what you see, what you experience. And if you, if the experience right, and I'm feeling right, he will teach me the next one. Yeah. So when I go home, I just focus on the abdominal area, and and it is like started to come. Okay. And uh, and I nearly. Not, not sleep the whole night because energy coming, energy coming. You know, they tell me you have to circulate, circulate. So I, so I have it. 
So when the morning, I go to see him, I explain to him, I say, oh, this is very good. <laughs> okay. So after that, he, he, so he, so he transmitted to me the next, next level. So we have all together, is, we have the nine level of practice. Okay. The inner alchemy practice. And um, so, um, so, um, so, so he passed all the formula how to practice Tao. Yeah. And then he told you that you have to go and teach this to the West. Um, Did he say that to you, or yes? Actually, <clears throat> actually, because I, my sister is an American citizen, okay, and um, uh, she went there from Hong Kong to U.S. <clears throat> and let her become <coughs> citizen, and I, I, I know that I'm gonna go to, uh, to U.S. also. So I asked my master that. Um, uh, how we uh, can I teach this to the Westerner? He said, mm, but you have to teach Chinese first. So I promised him, you know. <laughs> so I in, Ch in, in Thailand, I teach with the Chinese. And when I go to the US, I'm in the Chinatown. So we started in the Chinatown. <laughs> New York City, Chinatown. So I'm teaching to only to the Chinese five years. And the Chinese people, um, and after that, I start um, uh, teaching to the West after five years. I just promised them. I said, okay, I, I fulfill my, <laughs> my uh, Your promise. Uh, promise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, I mean, you were, so you were in New York, was that like around the 1970s? Yeah. That period? Mm -hmm. So it was kind of hippie kind of flavor to it and lots of music and kind of the Beatles, that kind of atmosphere. What was it like being in New York and what type of people did you work with and what was the Oh, atmosphere? I mostly, you know, uh, you don't go to the hippie, you don't get the hippie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, it's just like what your, what your mind project to invite them, you know. But uh, mostly I, the people uh, um, want help. So um, I wrote the book Awakening Healing Light. Okay. So, um, and the and that time I think that uh, I'm gonna print myself. I do the I, I I I make the book and I'm gonna print it and I'm gonna sell it myself mm -hmm. okay. because uh, that time I don't know. So I said okay. This is the first book. The first book. Yeah. Awaken, Awakening Healing Light. And the <clears throat> and um, I print it. And I said, one, I, I going to, I going to carry the book and go to every state and just lecture and sell book. <laughs> and this is my ambition. That is what, forty years ago, <laughs> thirty-five years ago, I never did it. Mm -hmm. I print a book and I, I try to sell. And one day I go to the uh, esoteric bookstore, Samuel Weiser. Okay, and um. And I, the owner, Weiser, is there. So I talked to him and he said, Oh, uh, yeah, this interesting book. So I explained to him and tried to guide him to feel the energy and flow. I said, Interesting. Whatever you have, what, how much do you have? I said, I have about 3,000 books. Mm -hmm. Give me all. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I never end up with that. So he took all the book and he shipped to everywhere and we sell yeah and after that we get the the first student there is the Harvard professor there's a Kanda Wai Kanda and he's actually uh, so all the whole whole people coming and the whole Jewish coming community so, so the all, earlier there's all this Kanda uh, Wai Charlotte Smith, the, the steward. Yes, yes. yes, oh, okay. yes. These so, are all amazing Tai Chi, yeah. Qigong teachers. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Kanda Wai, so he's uh, he's uh, quite amazing that he he um, um, he been round up in the Second World War and the country is very small. It's a one one years old, one or two years old, and um, they shot. And he's um, because everybody stepped on him and he fainted. At night, come up, crawl up, and bloody everywhere and cry. 
and walk. I don't know where they walk. They lucky walk to the American, <laughs> American line. So, oh my God, you know. So he said him and, and sent him to America. So I always have, <clears throat> always have fear. You know, terrible fear because of the, when he have a, a nightmare, dream, and a lot of problem in the kidney. So when he see me, uh, I, because I did see him, I am going in second world war. So um, when my master saw me, he said, you have a lot of kidney fear. So he teach me the kidney sound, mm. and I do it, you know. Mm. And so I teach him. Uh, so I teach him the, six, the kidney sound, do the kidney, mm. and uh, rub the hand and make the kidney warm and smile to the kidney. It's amazing, you know, when you can picture, you can, when you, can t you know the kidney and you picture the kidney and you smile to it, you really, f your mind has nervous system connecting with it. And when you really go in and smile to it, and sending energy and smiling, <coughs> Warm, nice energy. Now something changed, and it, and the fear like cold. But when you make the kidney warm, fear gone. Yeah, it's so simple. You know. Nantai, let's do the inner smile. Do you want to do the inner smile? Yeah, that's my favorite one. Yeah, um, okay. the inner smile actually uh, is our trademark. <laughs> okay. And the, uh, so I let do a very a um, this is what the West discover and exactly uh, come into the inner smile, okay? And the West, you know, the West. I think everybody also know we have sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, okay? And the, in the when we go into the sympathetic, we call the fight and fight response. And that is, um, we, we need sympathetic. We wake up, and you, when the light comes in, activate everything. Okay? Light coming in, activate the brain, activate the hormone. Now we're active and sympathetic. You wake up, you do this, do that. But when we go to too busy, and go to too stressed, too busy, and emotional, when we go into that, now the sympathetic too much, over and too long, okay? And now we know that the sympathetic is fight and fight response. When we are in consistent long fight and fight response, now we know that uh, the body stop digestion. Digestion, absorption, elimination, <coughs> Because the body, when you in fight or fight response, the body think that you're in war. So no matter what you do, if you're so stressed and so emotional, the body immediately think you are in war. So when you're in war, they stop everything and fight the war. Okay. So so you can see that when we in the, in the stress. So so um, when you have some stress. So that's why sometimes now people develop this stress. We sometimes hear some news and we're so stressed. Okay. Sometimes people say some word and we feel so stressed. Why? Because we cannot control ourselves. Because we are so much out of the body. The uh, we born uh, the brain actually. Our brain are born to be con um, eighty to ninety percent is control the function of the organ working. And now you can see the fine fire response. It control the function of the, of the organ working. From, from the uh, lung breathing, from the heart uh, pumping, from the digestion, from everything, the brain have to be controlled. But now we are 80 to 90% out. And we have nothing in war with the body. That's why we are so sick. Because you totally take your brain out of the mind. Out of your mind, or go outside. And now the brain cannot do any function to make the body in good order to function. That's why the brain now gets a big trouble. So why the first step we call back to the body wisdom. So now if you understand this, 
when you come into this, so you see here, when we are stressed, the eye open, and the saliva, no saliva, and later on it's bitter. And the heart beat very fast. When the heart beat fast, it connected to the small intestine. Now the small intestine cannot absorption. So everything big trouble for that. Okay. So that when we are too stressful for a few for a day, whole day, the food sometimes stay there and not digest and roll out. Okay. And now when you go into the when you're so stressful, now when you go into the stomach, spleen, pancreas, it inhibit all the secretion. So the, the stomach cannot digest. And the lung have to breathe and send energy to make war. Okay? Now kidney, but kidney and blood is very important. The kidney, when we are, when we are so stressful, the first thing the bladder expand, okay? and it helps the kidney to stop when you are in war. You cannot, you cannot filter out the urine because we are in war, we have no time to pee pee, you know? <laughs> yeah. and, uh, because if you go to pee pee, you put down a gun, and uh, it's like you make a war and say, give me one minute. <laughs> they, don't, they don't give you one minute, they shoot you. <laughs> so, so the bladder know that we are in war, they expand. And the worst thing is they tell the kidney, slow down or stop filtering. Now if you have three, four, five hours, because you are in war, and, the, and we have no time to go to PP. So the body started to, uh, a lot of toxins build up. That's how we creating so many big problems for ourselves, okay? And, um, so the bladder expand and it helps the kidneys slow down or stop filtering so you can last long in, the, in fighting the war. Now in, the, in this stress mode, you have a urinary gland, secretion a urinary, okay? And the liver, when you in fight mode, you have to use up the stock of glucose because every cell when they make war, energy, sugar, they need to have this glucose to make every cell fight the war. Okay? But when you look, come up to here, when you learn how to smile, rest, immediately digest. You just think about, uh, we eat breakfast, okay? and it takes how many hours to digest food? How many? Mm? How many hours? Depends on the food. Three, depends on the food. Three or, or four or five hours at least. Yes or no? Yeah. yeah. Now how many meals we eat a day? Three meals, right? So one hour eating, another four hour digestion, five hours. So you put together how many hours? You need 15 hours to digest. And now, if we are stressed eight hours, I don't know where the food is going to digest. It's not, not digest very really well. And this is the major key we have big trouble. So in you know, that way, is that you can learn something to learn how to be not always getting done in a very stressful way. And that's what they call the inner smile. You learn how to do that. But, but the whole key, I try to tell you that, the organs. There is the organs, you see. If you cannot see the organs, like you believe or not, you have a heart. You believe or not? Everybody, you believe that? Yeah. Yeah. Some of them have, yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, I say, hey, smile to your heart. I say, I don't know. I don't know where my heart <laughs> I don't know how it looks like, right? It's so, it's so important because this is the image. All the belief system is set up an image for you to see, to focus. So in the say, hey, if you focus in your heart, you empower yourself. Okay? So There's a big difference. So that's why from thousand and thousand years, all these things you go back to six thousand years. 
And that time they already have a lot of understanding in the body. Okay. So you see, if you smile to, uh, if you smile, if your eyes smile, you relax and your mouth smile. Now the saliva started to secretion. When the saliva come out, the digestion happen. Okay. When the when the saliva dry out, the di digestion stop. Very simple. Okay. So when you are relaxed, smile a little bit, take a time to learn how to relax smile. But the major, major key is you able to relax smile down to the organs. And this one, the West, mark it out. When you are stressed, what happened? What organ, what happened? Now, when you are smile into the, the, uh, the stomach and pancreas, it stimulate all the secretion to help digestion. But in the other one, inhibit, it suppress them. Not, not producing, because you're in war, when you're in war, nobody's going to be uh, cooking, uh, make bread and make cake for you to eat, nobody. Okay, everybody on war. Okay. Now, when you, when you in, when you, uh, when you, you relax the lungs uh, breathing slowly and help because lung is the number one detox okay get rid of the elimination or the waste material that's number one okay so you see if we don't breathe for a few minutes what happened huh? if we don't breathe for a few minutes what happened we die <laughs> okay now so lung is number one in, in, in the connecting with last intestine. So when the lung cannot detox, the last intestine also cannot. Because they're all wild. So the last intestine is the third detox. You can, you can, you can uh, constipation for a few days, you still uh, can, can go on, okay? Now kidney, if the kidney don't filter for one or two days, we also go on. So the kidney is the number two. So when we are too stressful, we got get constipation and breathing stuck and cannot breathe proper way because all this all this stressfulness are making the whole organ in a big trouble. Okay. Now the the liver when we stress you you deplete the stock that they store for when you need it. But now when your liver is stimulated to producing more and uh, releasing more bio to help digest all the food, okay, all the fat and all these things. So you see in this one. Now very interesting in this one. This is what the Tao always talk about when we in the sexual practice. In this one when people are very stressful, very stressful for a whole day and you go into orgasm. The orgasm means when you when people make love, okay? And for especially men, they when you make love in immediately go into the orgasm and the orgasm follow with what? Sleep. Ejaculation. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Because it's so very quick when you're so stressful you cannot enjoy because going and ejaculation. But because you go right to orgasm. But now if you relax and you relax mind and you calm, your your sexual organ go right to orgasm. And you enjoy orgasm, more orgasm, more orgasm. So you enjoy making the orgasm, more orgasm, more orgasm, and higher orgasm and higher is and ejaculation. So the two these two things are divided out quite quite clearly about so this is we call the inner smile yeah so the so we're going to do a simple we do it well do it. so the whole key is the organs okay and i think that in the west now i think everybody study anatomy when you're in the first second and third grade already yes or no yes so you have a simple understanding of your body so if 
So um, sometimes uh, people think, oh, anatomy, that is the doctor have to study it <laughs> and operating on me, <laughs> right? Okay. But Yenata said, no, if you cannot in touch with your body, you don't know, you, you can enhance them, empower them, you can heal them. That is the major key of the Tao practice. And that how all the alchemy comes from, is in the organs, in the body. If you don't understand it, you cannot do the, we call it alchemy. Then tomorrow we will talk about some uh, the alchemy part. Okay, so very simple. <clears throat> okay. So the first step we need to do, um, you need, because we divide into three lines. The first line we already did that, okay? The spinal cord, okay? So when you sit, now we're going to be rock, rock your, rock your spine. So learn how to rock your spine. In, in, in this part, you know, uh, I don't think we're going to do that because because going to involved with a creating cycle. And this is the most cream practice in the Tao. It's so important. Um, uh, it is follow the inner smile. Because from Tao we talk about organs, they are they're connecting together as one. Um, it's, it's just like nature, okay? So, so that's why we we said the wood, when they grow, okay, the wood, when they grow, and they have bigger, and uh, they have branches, and you can chop down the branches and you burn. You burn to fire, okay? And the fire, but if you, if, if you have a bigger fire in the heart, but you have no wood support, Eventually, the fire burn, 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 and it finished. That means the heart finished. Okay? And when the heart no more fire, we have lesser soil. Because fire creating the earth. And when you have earth dry out, you have no metal. When you no metal, it cannot attract more water. And now you have very little water. Now the tree dies. It's a, it's a um, we call it ecology creating cycle, and it works exactly like that. Nowadays we know, we we know now that organ counteract each other. So some medicine that we uh, uh, cure the kidney is harmful to the heart. Some some medicine that try to cure the lung is harmful to the liver. <coughs> Okay, it called the end. Okay, but in the Tao said, if you put them into a cycle, circling, they're not harmful each other, but they're creating the other one. And this is real. This is real, because when organs separate, one element separate, they will die out. A tree separate, no water, they die out. Okay, so I just show you this one, but we. This is the, uh, the, the major practice in the, in the practice. So you see, if, the, if you have water going to feed the wood, and the wood can burn to fire, and the fire keep more earth, because the fire burn to ashes and become earth. When you have bigger earth, there are more metal produced. And the metal can attract more water, and water can grow the tree. So it's like a cycle, and that exactly in our organs. So if you, so the whole key, you have to really believe that, hey, I have a heart, I have a lung, I have a kidney, and your brain connecting with it, if you believe that. And if you hold it, you know the location, and know how it looks like, and you smile toward it, you get it. So now when the whole thing, so all in one with the organ to organ. So if you smile in, in the cycle, you started to see it creating each other. One element creating another element. Creating. Now finally, you have a lot of energy. Otherwise, standing alone, it dies out. Yeah. 
okay so so we going to do first step we going to rock the spine and uh, so the rocking the spine is a um, very important part okay and um, so you sit and you you rock in the spine you rock so you rock from your sitting bone okay very important part learn how to to rock so you can do that any time in your in your life okay so you rock like this so you sit on the sitting bone and rock because everything on the top sat on the sitting bone and you rock that rock on the sitting bone and you feel your whole spine vibrating that is the key okay that is the first part we call the back line so back line what with left and right brain small brain uh, neck seven cervical and the thoracic and five pieces lumbar and the hip so you rock and you feel nice and warm nice and warm <clears throat> smile now we're going to touch smile so <clears throat> first thing you have to feel your smile in the eyes and the next thing lift up the corner of your mouth and bring that smile down into your eye <clears throat> so you see your eye and you smile to your left brain right brain rocking rock <clears throat> smile to your left and right brain and smiling down to your neck seven cervical you have seven pieces of neck bones so you rock smile picture them and you smile <clears throat> take time to train and you can start it to oh I can feel my neck now 12 thoracic so you smile and your 12 pieces of neck and the chest so you count, count them one by one rock 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 down and in the cow, they actually say, cow your blessing. When you cow your spine, if you can cow your spine, you have blessing. And one day you lay down on the bed and you cannot feel your spine, you have no more blessing. Okay, so cow your blessing, very important, cow it. <clears throat> so one by one, feel energy flow, chi flow, and five pieces of lumbar. <clears throat> Now, when you rest, this is the key. Feel warm and nice. Feel warm and nice, that's number one. You see? So in the dark practice set, you accumulate the few, few good feeling. Little, little, little gathering them. And after that, you have big, good feeling. It's very important. So you feel nice, good, comfortable, smile. That's the key. Now, next thing, we're going to smile to the heart. So first thing, your eye, your mouth, <clears throat> and we touch the heart, and you smile. <clears throat> it's very simple that if you believe that the heart store, <clears throat> I think in the West we know that the heart store love, joy, happiness. Yes, yes or no? Yes. yes? So in a one and high day, what we do? We send your loved one with a red heart, right? Symbolic what? Love. I don't think you're going to send your loved one with a black kidney. <laughs> because it's not symbolic love, right? So very simple. <clears throat> Did you believe that? The heart store love, joy, happiness. Do you believe that? Yeah, if you want it, where are you going to get it? If you want love, joy, happiness, where are you going to get it? Your heart. Very simple. And if you want something something for somebody, what do you do? Shout at the guy? Huh? Shout at the guy or what? Or what do you do? Smile. Yes or no? <laughs> simple or not? Very simple. If you want love, joy, happiness, smile. 
and you smile to the heart and you believe the heart's store love, joy, happiness. That's all. Very simple. And you feel love, and you smile your hand. <clears throat> you feel love, joy, happy, appreciation, and gratefulness. And feel multiply. Heart store love, joy, happiness. Second thing, heart can multiply. And the third thing, heart can shining and radiance out. That's what the heart can do. Okay? So shining and radiant out love, joy, happiness, and thou to small intestine. And feel more, feel the small intestine. Very important part, you have to feel picture and, and, and aware your, you hold the image and you smile, you hold the image of the small intestine and you know where they are. Now, and you smile to it, you in touch, that's all. And when you smile and you feel love, joy, happiness, radiance into the small intestine, and you feel starting to feel good, it's a training, it's a training. And you feel, oh, love, joy, happiness, radiance. Now, move your hand to the left hand side. We call the spleen, pancreas, stomach. So you see, if you put your hand, your, your palm, the heel of your palm, on the middle line, and you put toward the left side, and that is the stomach. And your spleen on your left side, and the pancreas, also from the middle, a lean organ go all the way to the left. So you put your hand around here, you picture the spleen, picture the stomach, pancreas, and you smile to it. That's all. You smile to it and feel it shining and radiant out love, joy, happiness into the spleen pancreas. Now, this one is also follow the creating cycle. So we call the earth. When the fire burn, it turn to ashes. It add more earth. And the earth creating lungs. So now they come up to the lung. So everybody know your lung. So you know the location. You know how the lung look like. Now you smile toward the lung. That is so simple, but it's so amazing, effective. Okay. So you feel the lung. So when you smile to the split pancreas stomach, you calm, and the split stomach started to digest food. You see. But it's too stressful because this is the West. Okay? Talk about that. They draw the picture of organ, how the organ stress do what? And not stress they do what. That's so important. If you believe that and you smile to it, in touch with it, now you go into health and digestion. Okay? So the lung, inhale, exhale. Now smile to your lung, feel your lung with love, joy, happiness, because the heart can shining and radiance into the any organ that you need. Feel love, joy, happy appreciation. Now the lung also involved with last intestine. So you your hand on the right hand side. So we say ascending column. So on the right hand side all the way up to the ribcage, ascending column, and transverse column, and descending column, and sigmoid. Now if you can picture them, and you smile to it, and you guide the, the energy flow into it, okay? And you really started to help your your last intestine health and elimination. Now rub the hand warm. <clears throat> now on the back here, if you cover the back, both sides, if you cover the back, and um, that you are cover the kidney. You cover the kidney. And you know the location know how the kidney look like, 
and you smile to it. Kidney is the second elimination. Filter all the waste material in our blood. If you believe the heart can multiply more love and can shining and radiance, so you let it shining radiant out to the kidney. Feel kidney nice and warm. Yeah, if you make the kidney warm, fear have no room to stay in your kidney. Nice and warm, comfortable. Now kidney association with bladder. So put your hand in the front and cover the bladder. Picture them, smile to it, radiate our love, joy, happiness to the bladder. Bladder in between of the sexual organ. Okay. So in the sexual practice, this is very important because when you gather enough energy in the bladder, it radiates into the, the uterus, ori, and prostate gland and testicle. There is very important energy there. Now we come up to the last one, liver. On the right hand side, we just talk about um, iris. Um, use the natural color is green, <laughs> and that is in one with the liver. <laughs> okay. So, uh, <clears throat> so that. Later on, you, you learn the color, the green color is the liver. And you really allow love, joy, happiness to the liver, and finally back to the heart. And you feel calm, relaxed, and all the organs fill up with love, joy, and happiness. question about sexual energy, uh, Mantak. Mm -hmm. um, according to the, to the Tao, sexual energy and spiritual energy, are they one and the same? Um, uh, very good question because um, the first step we have to understand the, the, where does the sexual energy come? Okay. So, um, Um, the so in the Tao we believe that um, they are the primordial light and primordial force and primordial sound. That is the major part of the of the the Tao theory. So when we human, when we concept, uh, when we conceive, conceive mm -hmm. uh, the primordial light keep us the soul and the spirit, and the primordial force keep us the original force that we call principal energy to run our life. Okay, <laughs> and the sound when it come together, it creating everything. Okay. So we call them. So uh, before the Big Bang, we had this primordial light, primordial force, primordial sound. And when the bang, all these three come together, creating the, 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 the world, the universe, the, the material part. Now, we are receiving this force, the primordial force. We call the principal energy. So in the Tao, always talk about that when we come to this world, is first thing 
our parents make love. That is the key. So our parents make love when they have very highly arousal orgasm. It pass this energy for the man pass this energy into the sperm. Okay. And for the woman it pass this energy to the egg. And when the egg come together, so the whole key is based on this, the sexual practice. So when these two arousal orgasm come in together, boom, okay, it creating another power we call love vibration. And this love vibration, it have the power to draw the soul and spirit down and draw the primordial force down. We call a principle energy. How much you get from the parent and how much you can draw. So that's why the Tao said, everybody different born when you come to this world. So some people can draw more, more, more principal energy into them. Some people draw less. Okay. And um, so it's so involved with when parents make love. Okay. How much they love each other. And when they make love, they have tremendous arousal and orgasm and build up this enough. Okay. So this one, this is what the West uh, discover. This is the West. Okay? And I combine them with the Eastern practice. The esoteric is the same. But the West discover is quite amazing. They say the DNA renewal needs orgasm, arousal and orgasm, love and compassion. Okay? So everybody understand that we have to split, the DNA have to split every second. The number is quite stunned. Every second we have to split nearly two million cells. Every second. And you multiply them. Because we have what? 50 trillion. 50 trillion cells. So 1 trillion is what? 1 billion is 1,000 million. 1,000 billion is 1 trillion. It's a big number, <laughs> okay? <laughs> U.S. Uh, deposit now is a big 4 or 5 trillion, you know? It's a lot. Euro also big. <laughs> it's a 5 trillion deposit, you know? Now, so this um, arousal, of, so you see here, so when in the white house state of living into a, a when we in the vital state of arousal leading to orgasm, love and and compassion, this uh, this energy linked together um, actually linked to love. So when these two energy arousal orgasm link together, it creating a love vibration, and that is the key, because from the beginning of ourselves. How the cell split? That is the key. Okay. So when the beginning, our self have these two energy come together. Love, arousal, orgasm, love, compassion. From the father and mother come to boom, create and creating the power to draw soul and spirit and the energy. Okay. And how much? And now when this one are perfect cells, it split. So we have embryonic stem cell split into eight, from eight split to sixteen, and actually the Tao and more and some scientists believe that we have an eight original of the original stem cell is put aside in the antenna in the nervous area, and we develop only eight. So we have extra body always creating some extra for us. So this 8 creating 8, so 8 to 16, 16, 32, one going on like that. And when we are grow up, reach 50 trillion cells. And every year now, we have to renew new cells. So every second, so every year we have to renew the whole body cells to uh, 50 trillion. That's a big number to do. 
where we did every year. Now, why we get older and older and older and sicker and sicker? Because the original splitting of the arousal, orgasm, love, compassion is not there anymore. Yes? How long a day you feel, oh, orgasm, oh, love and compassion, how long a day you feel that? <coughs> huh? How long? No answer. No. <laughs> What does that mean? No answer. How many, how many hours? Or how many minutes? <laughs> a day. A day, yeah? Depends. Huh? Depends. 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 <laughs> so, now, we say, oh, you cannot feel that how, much, how long, that, that right? But you think that the cell have to split or not? Hmm? You don't feel arousal or cancer. This is what the West discovered. Huh? And the Tao always talk about that. Because this is a very important energy to, 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 to do the practice. So, even you, 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 um, you feel uh, depressed, uh, stressed, angry, the self still has to split, yes or no? Yes? So what the cell split under condition? What kind of condition? More. Stress, depressed, angry, frustration. So now you bring the cell into a very bad condition to split. So we copy all the bad thing into the new cell. All the negative emotion over and over and over copy to it. That's what that's what this is uh, like that. Because in the beginning, the cell only remember, oh, because they get the arousal, orgasm, love, compassion from the parent. Now they split, they split in this energy. They split every day, every, all the time, grow up like that. So that is the major key. Now, uh, now the Tao said, okay, when you, when we born, uh, you receive 100% of, we say 100%, top, 100% energy. So this 100% energy, number one, the body split them to store 25% store in the sexual organ. Okay? So we said the primordial force come to become, when come to us, we give a name called original force. And this original force, we speak 25% store in the sexual organ. For what? Well, 25% for what? Having baby. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of energy, 25%. Because having the, 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 the body thing, the having baby is a priority. See? Now, another 25% store in the kidney for emergency. That you have a reserve energy. Another, so we left only 50% store in running our life. So sexual energy becomes the biggest uh, portion of uh, the energy. And this is very interesting. Um, in Tao, they, um, they talk about uh, one of the emperor, you know the Chinese, there's too, there's too many people. So, um, <laughs> too many people. So, um, in, a, in one emperor asked the Tao Master, say, how many, how many times I can in my life I can ejaculations? Okay. And the Tao Master, they used to, they, they usually their finger is like computer, you know, before when they not they, they finger they figure out everything. So, mm, about five to six thousand times in your life. And you know what the emperor think about? So oh if I have five to six thousand ejaculation, I want to be four or five thousand children. You know, yeah. So you know what the emperor do? He have three. So nearly all the whole whole range of emperor have three thousand to four thousand concubines because they think, oh, I can ejaculation. I make love with one woman, and I ejaculation, I get one baby. <laughs> it's not exactly like that. 
So that is how much energy we have. Now the rest will come up to the same number, seven, six to seven thousand. So every man, so not only emperor can have five thousand. Okay, so every man can have six to seven thousand ejaculation. Okay, now that is a lot of power. But how many people, how many children we have? What the average in the uh, Irish here? Where is baby? Two or three. Yeah. Two or three. So you said three children, you need how many times ejaculation? You get three children. Huh? Three. Three. That, that is too, that is too exact. You hit the jackpot. <laughs> Good answer. We said 100 times, okay? So 300 times get three children. That's good. And how much you still have? If we say the number of 5,000, you still have 4,700. There's a lot of, lot of sexual energy there, right? So that is what the whole key in the Tao figure out. He said, oh my God, there's a lot of energy there. What am I going to do with it? And that's how the spiritual work come in here, okay? Now in lady, the same. Lady have about 350 to 400 menstruation. You can count from the time you menstruation until the menopause. It's about 350 to 400 menstruation. And men, you have to count from the time you started to masturbation until now, how much do, how many ejaculation you have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know how much. <laughs> Are you asking about today or in the last week? No. <laughs> now, very important because the Tao said, hey, this sexual energy is a lot of power inside it. So that's why all the religious, they, they all use this, but the whole thing they don't tell you. you we only see what? Monk, nun, priest, and uh, all the nuns. We only see them when they become nuns or become priests. I will no sex. Why they no sex? Well, they want to transform the sexual energy. That is a major key of the whole practice. So the Tao believe that. So the, the so it's simple. You look at this. Uh, 25% is the sexual energy. And this 25% is take part one third of our life force. That is a lot. You, you see the point? One third of our life force. Okay? Because we lack 50%. And this 50%, number one, the Tao said, number one, this original force, the number one energy in the original force is who the soul and spirit stay with us. That is the number one. When, when our life force finish, soul and spirit left. That's the first step. Okay, very important. Now, the next thing is every time we take a breath, you breathe in, the nutrition come. Now the cell have that, now it combustion. Combustion needs what? You need the, the fire, a, a little fire to make the it burn. So oxygen, nutrition come in, now you need this, the spark plug, and it burn, boom, and we have compassion. That is the life force. And when we have no life force, nothing, no, nothing burn and we die, finish. So original force do all the job, but only 50%. So in the beginning of the first Tao practice is the sexual transformation. This is the alchemy part. You transform the sexual energy into life force. That is the first step. Because if you look at the original force, or we call primordial force. A primordial force come to original force and it split 25% to the sexual energy. Now if you if you don't want to have children, you don't have to ejaculate every time. You see the point? You can make love and control how not to eat. So 
you can mix many many little and arousal orgasm and harvest the orgasm for men you no need to ejaculation every time so that is the whole key of the practice so if you conserve more sexual energy and you have more arousal orgasm because arousal orgasm is the multiplier of the sexual energy so in our body we have two heart can multiply love joy happiness and sexual energy can multiply and I grow up the same love 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 but when I learn the Tao say oh that that makes sense love and uh, uh, arousal orgasm have to be it's just like the West we say what make love mm -hmm. what that mean huh? is that good is that good or not good name huh? making love mm -hmm. oh they are making love then you know <laughs> right <laughs> yeah so sometimes oh my gosh you know but make love is what you are creating more loving energy yes yes or no yes. that is the major key so that's why they discover that when we when we feel so when we make love you feel love first and you feel arousal and orgasm and you reunite and make love in that time what happened a love arousal orgasm combined boom it creating energy so we call a double and triple love vibration and this love vibration make make all the cells split in a proper way so in this one it go back to so the first stage we say uh, physical orgasm okay so in the first stage we call so we have divide into physical sex soul sex and spiritual sex because when you understand all these things all every whatever the mystery of the sexual thing you understand it otherwise too mysterious thing you see so so now in the in the physical sex the whole key in the whole practice we call healing love why because sexual energy can heal so um so this is back to 4700 years old uh, sex manual okay so but this is uh, that is 4700 years ago now we have much improved technique how to do that <coughs> so in this one they said uh, I think this one this better here yeah, okay now it's so very simple okay when you make love but this one is a healing because in the olden time, Tao Master in the village, so there are Tao Master is acupuncture, herbology, sexology, and qigong. You know, so when you go and see a Tao Master, and uh, they look at you, and say, "Oh, okay, uh, you want acupuncture? You want to take her, or you want to make love and heal?" So if you choose, I go home and make love, you know, and that they give you the position and what to do. So if you have any any organ problem, any organ, like the lung problem, and the the lung problem, or the spleen, or the liver spleen problem, or bone problem, or blood problem, so they have a different position, and it's so simple if you understand it. And this hey, that is they do already four thousand seven. For example, we say uh, let's say this one organs. The lung, okay, the lung. So they say, okay, you go home, but they need 15 days, okay. So you need to do make love 15 days, and you you do, uh, so you do how many times in here is three times a day, okay. So so three times, <laughs> morning, lunch, and evening, <laughs> or midnight, okay. So you make love. Uh, they they count so we can uh, a share and uh, we call eight shadow eight shadow shadow and one deep. Actually, shadow is what you know. What the what the um, uh, the the British and uh, the, um, the English they say what shadow means screwing technique because it's in the shadow part. It's called screwing technique. 
So in the in the English word, you have very one very bad word, there, right? It's <laughs> great. Huh? It's very bad word, but that is a technique of the Tao. Okay, they said screw you, very bad, right? But that is a technique. Shadow means screwing on the shadow part and one deep. That is the key. Now, but uh, in actually make love, we're bumping, we're not screwing. So it's the whole technique you have, how you're going to move your circum and how you make your hip in the screwing technique. That is a major key. So, um, so we call it screw eight times and one dip. That's it. Okay? And 27 times you feel something. Yes or no? You have to feel something. <laughs> so when you feel some arousal or some arousal and you have love already, so when they combine together, you bring this arousal orgasm into the lung. Very simple. If you believe that, when I bring the arousal orgasm into the lung, and I wrap around the lung, now the lung cell receives this arousal orgasm love vibration. Now the DNA split. Now when you split a very good DNA, what happens? When you split a very good DNA, what happened to the lungs? Look at you. You see the point? Yeah. That is, that is how the whole practice in this, in, in the Tao sexual practice. And uh, if you go into, like, in this one, when you, uh, when you go up to 4, 9, and you do, uh, and this one you have to do four, a uh, three time, three time. This one you have to do four times, okay? So this is four times a day. So if, because of bone, you have so many bones. <laughs> you can, if you want to strengthen and heal your bone, you have to do, that is a lot. <laughs> 45. 45 one time, five, uh, five, nine, 45. And there's one set, and you have to do five set, and there is two hundred twenty-five. So you know, in the in the average in the America, they, they they calculate out the average the men make love when they're bumping very fast, very fast, very fast, and ejaculation. So they average out a a, a bumping uh, or we call trusting fifty times only. But the doctor said, no, you, uh, you need at least 5, 000, uh, 500 times to 5,000 times. That is how you're going to train. So you, you combine together, 5 set 225, and you do 4 times a day. So now you have to be every 8 hours, every, every 6 hours. You need to get a, a 15 days, you have to do 15 days. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you have to get a room service, you know. <laughs> and hanging aside, do not disturb, you know. <laughs> and this is how the, the, the energy of the sexual energy, 